can see, that is one of my Spotify playlists. I'm a daily Spotify user. Um, and I'm pretty sure that many of you have used Spotify to either make a playlist or to just go on your favorite artist profile and just push shuffle and listen to everything they have. <clears throat> but don't let the friendly, easy, intuitive layout fool you. Spotify hurts artists in many ways. So today I'm gonna to tell you about that. We're gonna start off with one, how Spotify <clears throat> gives no incentives for subscribers to go premium. Two, how Spotify doesn't pay artists enough. And three, how Spotify drives music sales down. So let's go ahead and begin with my first main point. Spotify gives no incentives for subscribers to go premium. And what is their premium subscription? It's their 9.99 model where they give you no ads, you get better streaming quality, and you get to play offline. But compare that to their free version, which all you really have to do is listen to some ads and not be able to listen offline. The truth is, most people will pick the ad version. They won't pay for it. And statistics say, from The Guardian, that if a subscriber hasn't subscribed to the premium version in the first three months of their subscription, they're never gonna do it. And um, Spotify has even gone to say that their premium listeners, when they stream a song, the revenue that comes from them is significantly bigger than if you are a free user and you listen to it that way. I mean, Spotify could just get rid of the free version or make it more restricted to give people incentive to pay for it and get artists more revenue, but they won't because that would give them millions of users to go away. And according to Forbes, they have 100 million users. Compare that to Pandora, who has 88 million and used to be number one in the world, that'd be a lot of users for them to lose. So, because now we know that Spotify gives no incentive for users to go premium, we can see how they have contributed to the fall of the music industry. <clears throat> they don't pay their artists enough. Spotify has said that they pay 0 0.006 cents 2.008 cents per stream for every song played. So that would be 150 plays to equal 199 cent download. <clears throat> Roseanne Cash, the daughter of Johnny Cash, came out and said that she had only made $104 from 600,000 streams. And then Mark Ribba, an Emmy award winning jazz guitarist, went out and said that he made $187,000 from 68,000 streams. I did the math. I calculated that to be less than 0.01 cents per song for Roseanne Cash. And for Mark, it was still less than 0.06 cents per song. That is less than what Spotify says they pay. So it's not really fair for artists. They're making $200 or less that's not paying the bills. So now we know how much each artist makes per stream. So. Now we can talk about how Spotify has been driving the music sales down. Forbes has said that they have 100 million users, most of them are free users, and they also have 30 million songs to choose from. That's way more than Pandora has. <clears throat> and because of this, consumers are flocking to Spotify to listen to music for free without having to go to iTunes and pay you know, $9.99 per album or $0.99 cents per song and artists are no longer selling music like they used to. <clears throat> in 2014, Taylor Swift went on to say that she thought Spotify was similar to piracy <clears throat> and file sharing. She said it shrinks sales drastically and ruins a lot of careers for new and upcoming artists. <clears throat> so in 2014, she decided to take her album, 1989, and only sell it. She didn't drop it on Spotify, and she decided to remove all of her music from Spotify. <clears throat> in 2014, she became the number one best-selling album because of her actions. In 2015, Adele decided to do the same thing. Her album, 25, <clears throat> ended up selling 7.4 million copies because she didn't stream it anywhere, and that was according to Forbes.com. <clears throat> And she ended up beating Taylor Swift in sales that year. 
and it was all because of non-streaming. So in conclusion, we went over how Spotify has given no incentive for users to go premium, how Spotify doesn't really pay their artists enough for them to make a living, and three, how, driving, <clears throat> how Spotify has been driving music sales down over the past years. So all in all, Spotify is a good service for us as consumers, but for the artists, we should be aware that it is giving them a lot of troubles.